First look tonight, we got a bold new claim concerning the terror attack in Garland last year that ended with two terror suspects dead. The security guard who was wounded is now saying the FBI not only knew about the plot, but let it play out, risking hundreds of lives. J.D. Miles live tonight in Garland with the CBS 11 exclusive. J.D. Doug, there's still some bullet holes in the trees here around the Caldwell Center where two ISIS-affiliated terrorists opened fire on Garland police and a security guard. A year and a half later, that security guard is considering a lawsuit against the FBI, which he believes allowed the attack to happen. Well, I feel like they're not coming clean. Bruce Joyner is talking about the FBI. The security guard was shot in the leg by Elton Simpson and Nadir Sufi. The two ISIS recruits drove to the Colwell Center in May 2015 and started firing before they were killed by Garland police. Joyner claims that three officers told him an undercover FBI agent was following the terrorists in another vehicle. I know that there was a third person. I know that <clears throat> he basically... He had his life saved by claiming he was an FBI agent. Joyner says Garland officers had their guns pointed at the man who was wearing Middle Eastern attire and quickly taken away by federal agents. He was detained, put in the back of a squad car, put a bag over his head and took him away to another location. The FBI and Garland police have refused to confirm or deny that account. But Joyner is using that info as the basis for a possible lawsuit, accusing the FBI of allowing the violent plot to go forward. You believe the FBI allowed a terrorist attack on U.S. soil. Is that what you're saying? Yes, I think that they allowed it go too far. That they are responsible. They do have an intentional tort on their hands. Trent Roberts is Joyner's attorney. He says he's being stonewalled by the government about its undercover activities before the attack. We know from this FBI arrest affidavit that an undercover agent was tracking the terrorists for weeks, even sending a text urging them to, quote, tear up Texas. FBI Director James Comey has said Garland was sent a bulletin three hours before the attack, warning that someone could be on their way. This thing could have been a disaster. Joyner believes and may soon try to prove in court that the FBI could have stopped it, but chose not to. I don't know of any undercover agent that can allow their fellow officers and citizens to be fired upon in the course of an investigation. You have to stop that before that happens. Joyner says if it had not been for the quick thinking of Garland SWAT officers, he believes the FBI would have blood on its hands. The FBI would not respond to our questions. Joyner's attorney is asking for any potential witnesses to come forward to help support a pending lawsuit. Live in Garland, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.